Troll and Vast Error, a young troll in bedroom. Today's his birthday. Give name, please. Act Jack Warbat. That is the perfect name. Act Jack Contract Elsie. Uh, sure, but she's kind of a weirdo most of the time. Better now than later, you get. Open Scarpalog. Inhalated Camerus is Scarping Exciting or a color. Hey there, Elsie. Oh, hi, Archdrake. I'm extra on the way to your hive at the moment. Lol, you're weird. Say, you're acting really strange compared to normal. No, you. Your text is like super boring. Oh, wait a second. It's happening. Gotta go. Bye. Existing or color has left to chat. Close scarf plug. Right outside. Dang, moving along swiftly, are we? Well, no better way to check on your friends than to run to their hide and greet them in person. Kapow! Die from fall damage. You would have died on impact if there wasn't a big pool of mud placed under the window. Why is there so much mud? You are now in a very muddy cave. I guess you don't need to breathe or whatever. Try and do visit your friends in a bus until you get out of this place. Stop being an idiot and drink all the mud. You stop being an idiot and drink all the mud. Fill in your insatiable gullet with juicy, juicy mud. Get cancer. Cancer seems imminent as any Agantonian water is probably polluted and consuming it can be very deathly. You, however, live in the middle of nowhere and thus there aren't any nearby doctors. Your phone is ringing, we should probably get it. The phone goes to otter speaker mode. You pull it out of your hoodie pocket. You keep it there because your motive is kind of stupid. Who's this dude? Wendy boy, art boy, is very direct at annihilated hammerist. Hey. Hey yourself, loser. I'm not in the gush ding mood. Stop being such a jerk face. Would you like if I told Daddy Merritt about you? No, please, I just accidentally drunk some mud and I don't feel too good. Also, I am very angsty and you should mind your own beeswax. Hmm, I should tell Merritt about this. You are lucky that I'm not your daddy or you would be totally grounded. I just wanted to greet Elsie. She said she was coming to my hive. What? Elsie left her house? Merritt will be very angry with her. Dingits, I shouldn't have said anything. Watch your language or I'll tell your daddy. No, Merritt would never do a thing to me. He loves me too much. We'll see about that. Windy boy, art boy, it's fitted up with annihilated hammerist. Must be some sort of weird blue guy. Call your daddy. Oh boy, it is Merit. Annihilated hammerist reports to Uncape Conundrum. What do you want, Act Jack? I want to report someone being very naughty. Well, I'm in the middle of something. Can it wait? The blue guy is trying to daddy me and I don't want him to. What? And Elsie is trying to get to me and he says that she shouldn't. Well, she shouldn't leave her hive. She has been a very bad and has been trying to entry my game without my permission. I keep trying to punish her, but it never works. Okay, Daddy. Uncaped Conundrum has loved Annihilated Hammerist. Wonder what he wants. Act Jack, remove clamps from cave. Whoever put these clams in here is very naughty indeed. Why is this such a secret? You put the clams into your replica modus. 
the mode stores your item, but also creates a great version of the item. Great things are often cooler than the normal ones. Taking the clamps has opened up a secret passageway. You wonder where it leads. Visit the Blue Boy. You cannot visit the Blue Boy because... You're visiting the purple guy! Act Jack, become blue guy! Yeah, you can do that. You're now the blue guy, but his name is not really blue guy. What should his name be? Lava Frick You! Your name is Lava Frick You, and you like introducing yourself in the iconic manner. You are a blue boy who lives in a cave with his doggy. His name is Doggy and he's a good boy. You like making furniture out of loose's corpses. You are good friends with Daddy Merritt and you like when he lets you boss your friends around with him. You also have a lung cancer from drinking the gross cigarette water, which makes your breathe feel awful. What should you do? Lava, pet doggy. You pet your doggy. He's a very good boy. He deserves all the pets. Doggy, more lava's hand. Ah! That doggy is very, very bad. Get glue. You grab the rest of your glue. Squirt. Ta-da! You cauterized the wand, but now your hand is just a glue stump, and you're out of glue. Lava, try to understand. Doogie is a good boy. He doesn't deserve to die. Mm, it's very hard not to be mad at Doggy. You gotta take your mind off of him. Lava, massage and find Gia. It's still trick OMG! When the boy art boy is getting the contacts with a playable decadence. Hey, Gia. Hey there, kiddo. Can I talk to you, please? Fork. Sir, do you need any help? Doggy is being very, very bad again. He bored with my hand. Oh my gosh, that doggy should be put into jail! Nobody bores my boyfriend's hands but me! Are you still having me over for dinner? Yes, I'm actually not far from your place now. You can probably see me from your place. Okay, I'll check. Wendy Boy Art Boy Let's Playable Decadence's Love Convo. So quirky, tee hee! You walk outside your cave house. Turns out, the walls were not blue rock as you probably suspected, but were really ice walls in an ice cave on the tippy top of a giant ice mountain. Your cave house sits almost exactly on the northern east wall of Ag Aganton, and is very high up, contributing to your lung breathing problem. The reason why you're up here instead of a, n a normal loser case beyond the scope of understanding. The world shines bright light from the aurora borealis hanging above you in the sky. You feel a feeling like loneliness or the circle of life or something, but who cares because you're having dinner with your GF. This is a valley of ashes, a fantasy Six farm where ashes grow like wheat into ridges and hills in grotesque gardeners, where ashes take the forms of hives and chimneys and rising smoke, and finally, with a transcendent effort of trolls who move dimly and already crumbling through the powdery air. Troll Bing Crosby. Be the next guy. What is the name of this chick? Serpent Hello. Yeah, okay, sure. Your name is Serpent Hello and you are very quirky. You like building and comedy and your loses. You are currently out visiting your boyfriend out in the frozen north, which is very far away from your house. 
You hope that nothing bad happens when you're gone, but that is in fact when you're not confident of boots. Anyway, your BF's cooking a Ross for dinner, and you should get to his blade before you get force bitten. What will you do? Searches for new notice array. You just got a new fence modus! It's a hash array! The hash array is what you got when you put the hash map modus and the array modus into a notice control deck. It's basically a hash map, but the rows of the hash map are in an array! How cool and vast! Oh, so sorry, the gift is so small, that's my bad. Serpent! Where is you, hard helmet? You could die from explosions! Your hard hamlet, 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 19 divided by 10 equals 9 is in your hash array modus. You don't see why any explosions would occur, but it'd be safe to have otherwise. Hat time! Time to visit lava! Serpent! Sloppy boyfriend makeout time! And of the F -W sloppy makeout. Ah, serpent, welcome. Well, I did make it despite the fact you live on the northern east pole. Never mind, let us make up before I get the rust. Kaysher! Mwah. You can bet doggy while I get the food. JK is actually totally SFW. Retrieve Ross Freedom of Ben. Oh no! Yes, my route is ruined, and I have not even done my isometric exercise yet. Not the Ross! Do your isometric exercise and quick before it's too late. You quickly pull out the level 47 isometric exercise tech. Leg on the windowsill. That's enough for now. Serpent Snoop. A wired serpent appears in the kitchen. Show to text log. Yo, Lava, what you doing? Uh, well, uh... I was just doing my isometric exercises. Keeps you on your toes. Ah, uh, okay then, wait. Why is there smoke coming out of the oven? That ain't smoke, it's steam. Steam from the steamed hams that we're having. Mmm, steamed hams. I thought you said it was a roast. Yeah, a roast as in roasted steamed hams. Haven't you even had a steamed ham before? Okay, this conversation isn't going nowhere. I'll just be in the next room while you finish up whatever you're doing in here. Sure thing, BB. That was some cool text I just saw. Well, close the one there. You probably should get some steamed hams if you want to continue this distraction. Look outside for fast food. You can't see any fat food from here, but you remember where the nearest place is. It's a long trek, and you don't feel like abandoning serpent in your hive. Screw it, you're doing it anyway. And for the second time tonight, a male troll jumps out their second story window. Anyway, while Lava's doing that, why don't we change up our perspective? Be someone entirely new. You're someone entirely new. It was this one. Tazmina Taz Pom Pom. Yeah, that's actually the right name. She's just a super angry girl who likes to be called by her nickname. You are now Taz, just Taz. At the moment, you're just chilling in your red spit block after having a nutritious meal. You were preparing to contact your pals before you went unceremoniously into those two. 
You have several interests, including wrestling, boxing, general mayhem, and chatting your pals when you're not killing it in the ring, where you use your other nickname. You spend most of your time watching various TV shows as well. You had a pretty rough upbringing because of your selfish looseness being a total butthole and murdering people every traffic gets! That and several significant mishaps involving your group of friends. What will you do? Taz, can you tell us how to pronounce G-I-F? It's pronounced G if you Neanderthal, long at a wall rock. You walk over to your pet rock. His name is Rocky McRockface. Sweet name, right? He's sleeping right now. At least you think he is. Taz, open computer. Watch this. You open your computer and you take a look at some videos. Seems like Grubtube isn't giving you very much today, but that's just life sometimes. Anyway, your score icon is beeping, meaning you have a friend messaging you. Your score name is Restless Reality, but we're not going to show that because it looks dumb AF. Looks like the pal messaging you is at Jack, what a weirdo. You do have a crush on him, though, so... Taz! Go tall, Act Jack, that's your and daddy now. You're now Act Jack before we were even him at the beginning. Taz is messaging you on Scorp. Your Scorp name is Featherless Rain Wark because you're just too apathetic to chose anything creative. This is when we start skipping around in time. Pretend this overcall wants annihilated Hammerus to be in this conversation. Hey. Hey you, and a related hammers can't come to the phone right now, so please try again later. Hack Jack, I know you're there because I saw the little dots and that means that you are typing. Fine, what do you want? I want to be your daddy. What? No! Merit is already my daddy and he is very good at it. But he is your pale daddy. I want to be your flush daddy. Yuck to the no! Not only do I already have a daddy, and I do not want another E, you're a total jerk to me all of the time! If anything, it would be black! I will be your daddy, just give it to try and you'll see. That's another big no! I will be your daddy, whether you like it or not! No! Now I'll wait in the corner to be introduced to... And Hilated Hammers has left the chat. Loser. We'll be tied again after this page, don't worry. Back to Taz. Man, you are no white ding kicking mad at Akjak who wouldn't want you to be their daddy, huh? You gotta clam down. Ha! Huh. It seems like several people are messaging you out of the blue. Who should you answer? Poll closed. 27 votes is enough for now. Merit. Yo, it is Daddy Merit. Ungaped conundrum desire to speak with Princess Overcall. Hey, you there. Oh, what do you want? I am kinda in the middle of a thing right now. Oh, what kind of thing? Heck, Jack won't let me be his flesh daddies even when I demand it. You know, relations can be a touchy subject with Mr. Corn's Europe. Yeah, you don't say! Leave him the frick alone. Daddy dudes are already tough to me today and I don't need any more of your BS. Fine, now why did text me in the first place? I want to talk to you about the big game. Continue Kondo on the next page. Oh, spooky. 
when I was a much younger troll, I was the coolest kid of the Gantorn's whole history and nothing could stop me from being that sick ass goog. I stole bricks from the Froge Temple, I built a, my hive in, and sold her to the Blapk Market. I streamed vids all day and night. I also visited you guys more often. I get it, this is your life story! But you dunno why it changed. So one night while I was sleeping, I woke up, but like, I was still asleep, you get it? I was in this place that was all black and white and glitchy and it was like, hurt my eyes so much. There was this guy here, this boner man, this black words guy. Too that bad this was posted a few days after Halloween. Who was that guy? Anyway, so, BWG told me that he's like this puppet master dude who oversees everything, and I was like, damn, that sounds more important to you. He said that the weird glitchy place was called The Static, and that's where he and his other weird bone friends lived. I was kinda distracted because I w he was looking so hot. He told me that there was this dream world called Durst, and that now when I slept I woke up there and became a dreamy and not have normal dreams like a normal guy. Then, he got to telling me that I was this thing called an Omni Daddy, which means I'm the daddy of basically everyone. He also said that there was this big game that we'd all play, and the fate of the world depended on it. But first I had to get back to all the bricks, and I was like, dude, Come on, man. We finished talking and I woke up in the real world and my eyes started hurting so much because I guess I didn't like the rapid glitch fest and the static. I started wearing these shutter shades for a while because my eyes got so used to everything. Next time I went to bed, boom, I was on Durst. Apparently Durst is part of the game and it's like in its universe. There was a whole lot of chess boys on Durst and I met this dude named Jack Nor. He had this gang of criminals who liked to fight this gang of sleuths from the other planet in the game, Prostit. And they all did a bunch of gambling and blackjack and hookers. Me and the gang got big trouble from BWG and the Black Chess Kink and Quendo, and the gang got split up. That was bit bass. So what does any of this have to do with a big game? A whole lot. We'll have to wait and see! More words! The game itself is gonna be released for these full dreams very soon, and I'm watching it over it before it comes out. You didn't write the game code? No, someone else did it for me. At least that's what the notorious BWG told me. Okay then. Crap. What? There's someone in this temple with me, I hear beat steps. You should attack! You do have your stripes, Spedalus, right? No. Okay then, I can't really help you, can I? Pretend this overcall is pretty much you're done! Wait, what the fuck? I it's Actjack, he's he in the temple! How did he get in here? Man, I like his exposition dump! Chansa! Wait, I'd step with her! Furby Facilities talks to the pretentious overcall! Hey, Tazia. What is up? You barely ever contract me! Yes, I know. Then how are you doing? I'm kind of freaking out, right? Everything around me looks like it was drawn on some crappy artist webcomic. I tried talking to Dismas and Moraine, but they both get responding in strange half-words and misspellings. I mean, Murrit has always been like that with his drawn-out stupid score post. Yeah, <laughs> lol. Uh, are you normal? Nothing changed for me. I'm just really scared. I know I'm normally an angry bitch, but I'll give you my time for a tad. Sure then. So smooth. 
so many text errors. Frick, those things are creepy. How's it like living in the post-apocalyptic landscape you're in? Nice. Lyabon and Dismas sent me some more soper slime yesterday. I've been watching Cernan's new streams. Oh, and I bought one of those Freddy Freaker animatronics. I honestly can't believe you like those things. Friggin' creepy boys. They look like they'll murder you in an abandoned pizza shop. Jeez, I thought you were trying to support me for a while. Sorry, continue about your haunted monster toys. Like my Furbies are haunted? Yeah, girl. Those eyes have screaming grub zones within them. After everything went to crappy art mode, all these guys do look freaking demonic. I thought he didn't like to swear. Freaking, you think that's a swear? He don't catch me telling Daddy Mert that you swore like that. Did you just, just call Moraine your daddy? Yep. You know what? You are totally corrupted. That's what I'm calling this weird crappy design thing that happened. But I still would like to talk, so I guess I'm still going with this. Forbade the trolls. By the way, the next phase may make your eyes hurt. Oh. Oh no. You been reading anything good lately like your Garfield crap? Garfield is not crap. Yeah, it totes is. That comic has been going on for hundreds of years. That's what makes it so good. The misadventures of Garfield the Purbeast as he sustains life with his troll John R. Buckle and the Bark Beast loses a John R. Succeeds friend Linman. Who the frick is Linman? Sounds like an asshole. He's part of the deep lore of the series. Wink. Wait a sec. Is it some of that I'm sorry, John, our horde terror fan are you used to make? Oh god, no. This is canon stuff. And I never took part in any of that disturbing score plus gore. It was a disgrace to the comic and still gives me nightmares to this day. Well, apparently that is a touchy subject. I'm sorry, John. Man, Jedza got so boring. Why did I even put her in this pole? Speaking of nightmares, everything is still messed up. Maybe I should get some rest and it'll all be gone in the evening. Whatever floats your boat. Thanks for lending me your time. It helped a lot. NP, there's a lot of other asshats contracting me right now, so we should probably put this convo to a halt. Well, bye. See ya. Pretend you're overcall at a limited time amount of time to try and get through everyone's text, so she has to go as soon as possible from Furby facilities. We'll be not talking to her next time. Albino. Spirit chick has arisen. Dimmer chick qualifier spirit calls pretentious overcall. Good morrow, my dear Morel. Sup, bruh. Nothing much. I'm just chilling with my guardian spirit in the meditation realm. Oh, okay then. Why did you contact me, though? I just wanted to ask how you've been doing. Wait, is this about one of your prophetic visions? Uh, kinda. My visions have become less and less of the future and 
jokes mostly the bad and the red and I'm like 90% sure it's because of the game. Has anything been going bad for you? No, but Chanza was talking to me about something similar. I mean, Muscle Chick has also a ribbon, but who cares? I swear she's on weed. Huh? I was just talking to her. She was complaining that the world was changing and getting crabbier looking. I was thinking about mentioning th to that to you since you're the smart one. Huh. I think I saw something I heard about in the paper a while ago. Where? To know the mood has to call or some shit. What about your spirit guy? He knows stuff you don't. Cause Dragon wouldn't hurt BRB. Yo, Garden Spirit, I wanna talk to you. Um, ye. So apparently, Chanza has been seeing things super weird and grabby or some shit. Go on. Taz wants me to ask you what you know about it. Well, I do know what is happening to Janza, but that information will be withheld infinitely from you. Why is I? It is something that binds the fabrics of reality together and is an important part of existence itself. But for where you in your journey, your information cannot be given. Why do I even ask? You've never once given me a straight answer to anything. Well, continue all this after I finish like, talking to Taz. Say la vie. Yeah, she don't on drugs. Trippy dimensions are cool. I'm back. What does he say? Jack, shit. Cannot ever get anything. It's hard having an amalgamation of so severe insectors reincarnated as elusive. Like you can only talk to when in a meditative drug trip, but never gives you anything concrete. It's hard and nobody understands. What a douche. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, no, I can read your text. I'm not blind. I didn't know you could respond, though. Uh, hi, Guardian Spirit Parents. I can tell you too about some of this junk with secret shit and you better not blab. Lip sealed. Go for it, broski. What Jenza? Or should I say Jenza? His expansion is called the corruption. At least it's not some eye destroying gif. History lies in time stuff you guys probably shouldn't be getting this info yet. So some peeps about a specific moment become corrupted, which basically means their body gets super smooth and they talk different. Only some things were always corrupted. Anyway, two of your pounds get corrupted in the last hour or so. It has not time for them to play the big game, O.C. and Janza. So O.C. is also corrupted? Yeah, but in the history you and I have seen in our visions and in past lives, Several peeps have been corrupted. Like who? Oh, see's ancestor, the vivifier for ancestor. There's this fellow called Black Words guy who also corrupted. Plus, there's also this chick named Cecilia and this chess duke named Jack Nor. Wait, Merit mentioned that guy. Crap, I said too much. Anyways, there are a few more, but those are the important boys. This is so impactful in the game? Yes, you guys will be split down the middle in battle, for reasons that I truly cannot mention. Huh, vague, but I did get stuff out of that. Yeah, thanks, but I might have to think about what you just said. Happy to oblige. I believe you have other texts to get to, Taz. Not really, just Astro. Seems like a big deal. Have fun. Garden Sprit and kicked everyone off the chat. Mind if we keep talking, Albino? I'd like to discuss your purpoys. Shut your mouth about it, okay? 
Destro! Look at this douche nag! Era Prod begins a text-to-speech log with pretentious overcall. Hello there, Tan Media. Ah, uh, why in the frick are you of all people texting me? Don't you got, like, important busyness stuff to run? Yep, but I really want to know what you know about Tipping Game. Not much. Merritt has been meaning to explain it to us after its release, but what I do know is that he himself did not make it. Mm. Once you do get the game, can you tell me about how it works? Seems very important. Sure, that's cool, thanks. Everyone else in your front group has been way less helpful than you. Damn, man, I think you guys are lame anyways. What do we do in return? Huh, guess we could get you something in return? Aggressive support interrupts the convo. Honestly, why should we help? There be glasses, boy! Hemi the Astro sitting in a tree! Because we got a lead to the big game and we can figure out what's going on. I am trying to support you guys even though your company sucks. Hey, I'm just trying to help our dying planet. See? Why oh, this is the freaking worst, so I got someone more helpful. Like whom? Somebody who ain't always a bitch. You can't say that. That term can only be used to describe me by me and my pals. Ugh, shut the hell up. Okay. We'll send you a thing. What do you want? How about some corporate approved DVDs or punters baked on your interests? Sure, seems acceptable. What'll it be? Give me a second. I'm looking to see if my house needs further decoration. Pretend this overcall will be back in a moment. So, what are you really trying to do? I know you think Taz is a bitch as much as I do. The big game is a project that's meant to save our planet I want to weigh in. How do you know that? Read the written on the walls of Mimisi. You know this whole world is going kaput. I mean, why do you know so much about the big game? I have intel on what's going on from sources. Like what? It's the Laugh Maniac's cult. I know I shouldn't be making deals with them, but they're one of the most powerful organized circles besides the one I'm heir to. Quick spread depression butts in! Hello there. I couldn't help but overhearing you two. Selfie! Come in! Theatrically coupled happily! Jeez, how many boring people are there? I heard you guys discussing the Laugh Maniacs as I was packing down the hall, and I couldn't help but throwing my proverbial hat into the ring. <laughs> yeah, hello. You said they were going to help you get into on the big game, is that right? Who am I kidding? All you two ever talk about now is the big game. Like, sure. What do you think, she said? Should we get a Laugh Maniac's help? This whole place is going to hell anyway. There's really no reason we shouldn't. We know who the players are, right? Taz, Albino, Gensa, Serpent, Merit, Lava, Coder, Dismas, Silvera, Occhius, and the other two that shall not be named. If you knew, why'd you even ask? To test your knowledge of upcoming events. I do that more often than you think. Taking a pin in that and returning back to the Laugh Maniacs, I do think that with the right one following your lead, they'd be an exceptionally helpful group in watching over the session. Who do you suggest? How about Adelon? He's a powerful duke or chess sandwich. If we can persuade him. And who the hell is this cheese sandwich fellow? This detail may have somehow bypassed my perfect memory recall. Or maybe that's fucked up too. Sincere silly, cheese sandwich, leader of the laugh maniacs. Oh, you mean a weird owl. I'm still getting you some of your shitty names for things. I have never heard anyone ever call him Weird Owl. Yeah, what owl universe have you been living in? One where everything doesn't look like it was churned out by grub dough cutter machine. Cool then. It'll no matter, it ain't a bid, dear. 
What a confusion! Pretentious overcall is back. Alright, I'm back. I can actually use a wrestling poster for my room. Oh wait, you're on a text call with Taz? Sure, we'll send it right over. Got it sent by drone already. Sizzly? Yes? Are you corrupted? I am not sure what you mean by corrupted. If you asked my kissmissus, that'd be a straight up yes. But I'd have to say the same thing about her. No, I mean, is your appearance in hand into the smooth form? Everyone else has seemingly been significantly deteriorating in quality. It started around the time we started Operation Snowbound Blood. You were the one who seemed different, Cecily. Nope, nothing like that ever happened. Anyway, Cestro, about the Laugh Maniacs thing. We're not talking about this round, Taz. Isn't that the dumb club chase sandwich runs? told you it was Chad's sandwich. Okay, fine. I'm apparently the idiot here. Fucking idiot teens. What do you saw that being so depressed all of the time? Hey, life's hard when you have to put up with all of you guys' crap, and none of your friends are helping in any way. Not even Mashiri or Akira. Ugh, dramatic much? Keep it calm, Sekuli. You run this place. You put up with way worse bullshit than being caught in the crossfire of the stupidest set of cahoots ever. Did you get the package, Taz? Yeah, for news. Delivery drone flew through my window. Himifi, once it is over, do you want to go out for coffee or something? I could really use something to eat. Why not? Thanks, no one else I know is in town right now, so... Ribbit? I... I'm not hanging out with that weeb. Look, hello. Back to Avalon, what was the deal all about? Honestly, I don't even know. Do you have any dirt on them? Yes! Um, gee, like what? Did you know how Pogang is in cahoots with Chess Sandwich? That's common knowledge, girl. But did you also know Hope's gonna be on TV tonight to try and endorse the coat? How in the world is that going to work? He's barely popular enough to even get his own network. What kind of idiot tries such a see-through tactic anyways? Even Tad knows, and she's not even a big fan of him. I mean, I'm a fan of hating him. We should try and find out more in their tactics. This honestly feels like a bad plan. Who knows what trouble you guys could get in. As heads of the company? Really? I'm with her. Anyway, I feel like I should get a move on. Good luck pulling this shit fest together. Quick spread this rush and makes like a tree and leaves. I should hang on my posters. Pretentious overcall does the same. That was anticlimactic. Too many trolls to keep track of. Taz, ignore these stupid dummies. Become Act Jack's daddy by force. Sally. That one had been. Merit has too much power over all of you guys. There are like 10 daddy's quarters and you don't even know which one you're in anymore. Though maybe you can do it in secret? Not now. It's poster time. Taz, hang the poster up, you lazy! The drone gives you the poster and you hang it up on your wall. And it's perfecto. No poster could be better like ever before. You hear a loud cling from the tabather and holy frigging crab and your all wise weasel loses Dax died. Not today, bitches! The weevil throws you out of your hive into the black depths, but just in the nick of time to service drone comes along and catches you out of the air. Hopefully, you can get you out of this predicament. Jenta has been chosen! Your name is Jenta Briati, and you're glad that you're getting a formal introduction. You hold an interest in cultural oddities, specifically those that inspire the fabled emotion of childlike wonder. Your hive is a home for lost toys, but you personally think that's kind of a dumb name that just makes you think of some dumb movie about reindeer. Anyway, 
these items are mostly just factory rejects that are stupid, boring, or downright harmful to young grubs. Taking care of these oddities is your passion and you wouldn't give it up for the world. Along with your toys, you have a vested interest in the medium of cinema, specifically the areas that most trolls look over because they're too silly or childish. You think that's idiotic. The reason you watch so much television and, more recently, internet live streams is because you're actually incredibly weak. Goldbloods often have immense psychic abilities or other mind powers that are pretty sick, at least you think so. Sadly, not only do you not have any of those, you also have no looses, no discernible ancestry, and an intense stress disorder. Being cooped up in your home is actually what has enlightened you. You've learned a lot from film and the pages and pages of literature you own, plus all the board game experience. You are the best at board games, simply the best there is. You're in a bit of a pickle, however. As of around 20 minutes ago, the entire world around you has gone swiggly, misshapen, and improperly textured. Your hive isn't even the right color anymore. Attempting to contact your friends, and those you only see as acquaintances, has yielded you nothing but spelling errors and ignoring messages. At least you got a heart to heart with Taz. Taz? Out of it. You've dubbed this situation the corruption, since you honestly don't know any better way of framing whatever's been going on. You're going to have to get used to this. What will you do? Jenza! Stop being boring, stupid! What kind of command is that? If being not boring means being corrupted, you'll take boring any day. As you've taken it every day, it's not like you were made boring or anything. Pet Kaiti! That's a slightly better command. You pet the Kaiti. It's not actually a Kaiti or even a kitty, however. It's actually your official Garfield telephone trademark. This is one of only a few in the existence that isn't completely waterlogged in an accidental shipment dump. No one really wanted any of these phones anyway, but look how cute it is. Well, it was until it got entirely corrupted. Now, it's a mess of scribbles. Genta! Mourn the corruption of your beloved lost toys! You'd be doing that too, if not for the fact that someone appeared to be calling you on the official Garfield telephone trademark. Looks like it's called for what it's he wants. Who's this fish bag? Granddad says you're on phone calls, Jentha. Gretans, Jentha. It's Jentha. Whatever, Janky. I just wanted to ask you if you had a co-player for the game, like someone who brings you in and someone who bring in. Yeah, Liavon supposed to bring me into the game. I think I'm bringing in uh, Arkjack. Er, uh, Akjack. Fine, I'm just worried about me. Murat won't tell me my place in the game. I'm on Team B. You? Team A. Are you sure Merit won't uh, respond to you? He always has a computer on him. Yep, bruh! I'm gonna see if Oculet wants to play with me! Good luck. Jenza hangs up the phone. Probably some spacey loser. That was a giant waste of time. What were you doing again? Mourn the lost coherency of your beloved toys. That's right. Mourn the lost coherency of your toys. It's actually hard to mourn than you thought they were since all of your toys are so hideously deformed. These Furby just stare into your soul. You're goddamn terrified. Jenza, play some Connect 1. To attempt to make your mood better, you play some Connect 1 or Connect Loss. This is the stupidest looking object in your entire hive. What the hell is it? Anyway, let's read the description. Connect loss to classic vertical loss in a rogue game. In this callback game, your goal is to stir grades a classic loss meme before your opponent does. This game is best for two loss fanboys. 
includes one, one gameboard base, two, two legs, one, one gameboard base bottom slider, 40, 40 blue pieces, 40, 40 red pieces, 40, 40 yellow pieces, one, one calculator. Seems like it's worth a shot. You have literally no idea how any of this works. Jenna, scream. You scream, releasing all the pent-up rage inside of you. Your stress is released in a natural format. Jenna, watch GrubTube. You reopen your laptop to watch some GrubTube, your preferred video browsing site. To the left is your Scorp whose theme is apparently Garfield Gambito. That sucks, man. To the right, it's GrubTube. On the top of your recommended feed is... Oh no. Who is that? You know exactly who this is! Have a mental breakdown. You've been shown the corrupted content of the wicked troll known as the Odd Ones Out. He is a mastermind of both the visual media of animation along with psychological manipulation. Known to you, an avid watcher of conspiracy videos, is that he's a major double agent for the Mirth Maniacs. His main goal is to keep more of their media wandering to the screens of helpless trolls. He also created the abomination that is R slash I'm sorry, John R and his own demonic Garfield content. The fact that somehow his videos have avoided corruption is a goddamn nightmare. Jentha, open a memo to see if anyone else is normal once and for all. You open a memo labeled Jentha's cool home base against corruption. Invite all of your pals. Jentha's got a memo! Furby facilities begins the memo. Um, hi. I'm pretty new to making memos, so let's see where if this works. You guys can respond, right? Grand and saturation starts a response! Yeah, we can! Okay, that's p pretty good news. Anyways, what's the point of this memo anyways? I'm not sure I, I get it. I j just wanted to to talk to as many of my friends as possible at once. Okay then! Magabur excludes starts the response to the memo! Yo yo, you what up my home slashes? Hey Oculus. It's Oculus. Get it right next time. Just wanted to see what the fuss was about. Just a short memo for us to chat. Okay then, I got some stuff to get done, so make this quick. Nah, you can go. Wait! What? Do you got anyone who's gonna bring you into the game? No, not yet. I got you covered then. Okay, cool. See you when stuff actually happens. Magabur X you then leave the chat. Zangarin Alimony enters. Wait, I was gonna ask him to, to be my daddy oh. Is it Merit your pale daddy? I'm looking for a black daddy as well the quadra I do not have. Merit is my bear dad, I'll be on those my bus dad. Gigi's my salt dad, I got one more to get. Hey, I'm in a relationship with him. Just a pale one, not even daddy relationship. You do understand yourself, right? Yes. Gigantic distribution is party of this. You know that I am very capable of seeing everything you've been writing here, right? I'm actually playing attendant to your BS. Hey, it's mess. Hey there, bestie. Get a room, you two. I'm just fussing, you ding blocker. Oh, I'm Dwedge Duke. Maybe Merit's reading this. Oh, no. 
I'm very, very sorry, Mary. Please don't punish me. Janza, you did share the memo with them, or is this secret? I did share it with him. He's just not responding. Jeez, what's the mistake? Wendy boy, art boy joins the combo. Wait, the wrong color. Wendy boy, art boy changes this color to this. Hey, it's me, Sermon Excel, I'm using Lava's computer. Hi! Yo! Hey, you wanna be my son, Dad? Uh, hello, wait, why are you using his computer? I'm at his eye, but he's in the kitchen making steamed hams. Man, those are the bomb! Yummy, I love that guy, it's so full of that. Delicious! You know what steamed hams are? Never had them. Me too. They're like sandwiches, but better. To that, existing aura color also is here. Hi, what's going on here? I got a memo going on here. I wanted to talk to my friends. Wait, are you normal? Are you? I didn't know that you'd be normal too. Burby's facilities kicked all these other people out of the memo. Done. Done. Check again on anyone you know. There might still be someone out there you haven't contacted that isn't affected. Shush! The norms are talking! So, what is going on with the not normal people? I've started calling the world corrupted. Yes, I am. Do you know what caused this? Honestly, I do not. I was supposed to learn of it during the runtime of the game, according to my Lucis. Maybe her calculations were off. Hold on. You knew that this was going to happen? Yes. And you didn't try to stop it? It was an inevitable occurrence, according to my tutor at least. Who is this tutor? Jeez, you're asking a lot of questions. My tutor is White Noise, known to those that you call corrupted as Black Words Guy. He's informed me of a lot as of late. Okay, strange. To be truthful, I thought it was just going to be me, my Lucis, and White Noise. I'm glad that one of my game mates is going to be normal. I know Merit is going to try and kick me out of the game, but I've already in the process of preparing myself. You know about the game? Very little, just basic stuff like how it'll work. Merit's probably going to post about it soon in the memo or whatever. Would you like to know the entry order? That's one song White Noise told me. Sure. Okay, in the form of A to B being player A is brought in by player B. A H E U W A P D U K P O G D D Q S A M E G S M E A H. So you will enter last? Yeah, I really only know that and what will happen once everyone's in the game, but I want you to discover things on your own and not spoil stuff. I would do the same. Team? Sure, it's team. That's the spirit. Existing or color is gone. Burby facilities claws the memo. Lame. Genza, should we stop being idiots and assuming you are aware of us? I mean, you know there's a command box that lets the audience of whatever show that this is act upon it. You think it's intuition? I mean, it's really... Wait, what the hell just happened? And who the hell is this? And, uh, what the hell is this? Guess we should let Genza do whatever's going on here. What's next? B. Rubbed Juice. Who the frick is R R Rub Zeus? Your name is Rusty Jokar. Anyway, you're just beating up this thirst chick, but you woke up. Why are you doing this anyway? Well, you've been in hiding since Mary got you to do the big no-no, but now Dee Dee tasks you with interrogating this page of light. Let's move on to Sten 2. 
Cause now she's awoken. You tie her up down the stairs and proceed to ask her the most invasive of questions. Angry Rob Juice. Do a what the friends. What is your favorite finger? Open Genza text. Uh, what the frick kind of cool question is that? Close Genza text. Genza. Resist questioning. You resist all questions from him. It's pretty easy since most of the questions make no sense. Gentha, examine shitty bindings. These bindings might look like shit, but you can actually barely move. Wonder why these are that containing. Gentha, tell the idiot to untie you so you can show him. Holy cow, it worked. The weird chessman unties the ropes and lets you go. Good for you. What now? Genta, ask this weirdo what your favorite finger is. He's stupid and might confuse him. More text in here. Hey, dude. What do you think my favorite finger is? Can you even talk? I just saw you on the phone. Fine, it's my left pointer finger. Why can't we be anyone not Jenza? Risty Jokar! Empty battle drobe! You empty your battle drobe to get out your ultimate weapon, the bull PP cane! Maybe you can finally get useful info out of her! Jenza, try not to panic. You're trying. Somehow, you're succeeding. This really is going nowhere. Let's do something else. Can we just be Murat, please? We cannot be Murat, he's, he's battling Ack Jack or whatever. Let's be past Murat. Insert Nam? Cool, kid. Heh, <laughs> nice try, but that's not it. Merit Turkey. Your name's Merit Turkey, and you like uber long introductions. Basically, that's all there really is to say on the matter. JK, you'll enjoy yourself. As of several years in the past, but not many, you woke up on Durs or whatever. You were about to be killed on sight by Jack Nor, but he really liked you, so he got you to join the Dead Shumflers, his sweet ass gang. You did a lot of kick ass stuffs because you rolled the casinos and shit all over the place. But, this turned you from a level 1 cool kid to a level 100 presumptuous psycho asshole. I guess the how Mafia works. Basically, you went from stealing bricks and what of to murder and abusing your Omni Daddy prowess. This came to a head when you did something pretty damn awful to a rival gang of dudes. That's loose. And it almost started a preemptive war be between Rostit and Durst. Also, you stole the soul of your partner, who will go nameless till his intro, but that's all in the past. You're a new man. Currently, you're not totally asshole. You're Murat, a laid-back dude and Omni Daddy on this side. As of reason, you've been repairing the Froge Temple, so it will be ready when the game releases. You like to decrypt the ruins in the temple because it gives you something to do on this boring gas tropical island. You like doing shit with old Renaissance era tech, as it's another one of your me 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 <laughs> many interests. You got a lot of titty drones made from old scrap parts that you use to keep tabs on your son's uh, friends. You also use many televisions to show your streams of old shows play all night. You've been playing this little message to the universe on loop to the entirety of this nowhere planet full of a bunch of nobodies. What will you do? Also, I'm in creation of a Discord server, so check that maybe? Merit, do the body pillow. Do kisses all over the GD body pillow.
epic Fortnite dance, maybe? Ha <laughs> ha, JK, JK. Unless... Fortnite FTW! Merit, attack Jack for entering your cave! Man, you ain't future Merit yet. You don't even know he's in your cave. You just start having this convo. Open convo with lava. Windy boy, art boy, Texan kid conundrum. Act Jack's being naughty, Daddy Merit. Jeez, I already know that. Seems like you're the one being the nuts nature. Hmm? Uncaved conundrum ends. Yeah, it's irrelevant. Remove subs from chest. Nothing important, T. Blap words, guy. Show up. Hello there. It seems that you arrived just a tad bit early. The intermission was originally scheduled for the end of Act 1, but I guess we'll give you a sneak peek for what is to come. My name is White Noise, or as others like to call me, Black Words Guy. This is my home, a place called The Static. I'm the guardian of a Ganton and one of the main forces in presenting this story you're reading, along with making sure it happens in the first place. I... Well, what does he want now? Every time I attempt to do anything, he keeps interrupting me. I guess it's the first time, but it's more than that. Oh, just listen. What do you need? I wanted to talk to you about the universe. It's, um, not good. It's been dying for a while. Yeah, but we might want to move faster. The session's say okay but I'm just worried about the current one. If you're so nervous, I guess I'll take a look. Hello, E. What are you doing in here? I thought we were working on merit. Sorry, but the reader's request to follow me for just a small while. I like to go through the comic in an appropriate manner and pace in... I'll be out of your hair in a second. Just let me check in on the universe. Linden warned me to. It really ain't good. Sir, okay, bargain here and don't even care about me. Linden was the one who let me in. Stop it acting so stressed out. Sorry. Fine. Just go through here not like I won't interact since racing. Why do I put up with you? I see what you mean. It was never that much of a color blue before. That's what I meant. Hmm. It's dying anyways. Such is the cyclical nature of this cruel life we live in. An endless loop. Speaking of loops, we should probably get back to our hero of loops that we so egregiously blew past. Maybe he was. This was a pretty pointless detour. Anyways, I'll let E take over from here. What will Merrick do? But You do the butt shot look super fine, son! Merit! Exert dominance by T-posing! You T-pose who dominates no one cause there's no one here but spiritually everyone's attacked by your absolute dominance! Merit learned the truth about sand. This goddamn video is the dumbest thing ever. How the frick is sand's nest? Who cares that it was confirmed by the game creator? You don't accept the truth. Bad you, Magic is the dumbest troll out of the two two hundred trolls on this godborn stinking planet. How is Sans Ness? He totally is Steven! Merit, smash computer screens with the cuffs! 
good dingin' pet mats. You hex the ain out of your computer screen. Plot thicken. Guess who this is? Awesome words text unkipped conundrum for some reason. Hey you there, Merit. Who the frick are you? Can you not read my name icon? Besides that pretty unmissable detail. I mean your real life name. What's it like? I'm a Merit Turkey. Dumb name, loser! Well, my name's the Gems Railson, aka the Jods One Out. Oh, it's you. What's that mean? All my pals know you're super into hoots with the lap maniacs. Those boys, they're pretty chill. Uh, Saz told me how much you suck. You've been a jerk face to you for so long. You cannot be her salt daddy. I am think you're lame. Can I not play your game with you? Hell no. Then bye. Good riddance. Awesome words hangs up. The odd one's out. Who dat? Be odd one out. Lot of boys in this text. Air apparent invites quick sprint depression. Discard glub glub. Awesome words and symbol a tin gearbox into the memo. Talk in the big game. Hello, y'all, y'all. I'm planning on hijacking the game after what was gave us. She's gonna let us download the code for it, and I'm gonna get our own session started. Really? I didn't get that from the conversation that we had. It doesn't really matter that much. Also, I didn't really want him me first to know the plan. You were gonna kick her out, huh? I just mean angry. I'm excited to play! Merit didn't let me join his session! Well, this is their stuff. We're gonna do it anyway. Yeah! Who's gonna be playing, Quistmork? The five of us, Obby. That doesn't seem like enough players. The other session has twelve. Yeah, not a load, frustrate face. Fine then, we'll do twelve. Who's gonna be the other seven? Hamifi, totally. Seems like the obvious option. How about my Moirail? I'd like to invite her to play. Maybe like Turner Prodzo? Seems good, but there's three left open spots. Hmm. How about Apocalyptica Girlily? Lyman ain't playing. Aww. Oh, what about Rippin' or Necrombromicon, question mark, think? Like those, that means one more to go. Huh, what about Elon? Really? That's not a good idea! Super dumb idea, Shunt Pikachu! Seems okay to me. You want to play the big game with that chicken creepo? Really, Doog? He's way more of a warrior and magician than you guys give him credit for. He's the strongest person I know on this planet, and that's saying something. So what if he's an a-hole? I invite Cecilia and she's a big jerk. Dude, what the hell? I'm right here, down the hall from your office. Fine, sure thing. Anyway, the entry order seems like it'll be... H-A-A-S-Q-D-D-G-O-E... N N E M Q U W A D P S G C C H A. Seems like a good game plan. Once it releases, it seems like it'll be fun too. Sweet ass stuff. Agreed. Except I don't want to Adelon bringing me in. Great job, planet. Thumbs up. Wanna chill before it starts? A silly shrug. Why the hell not? Seems fun! I'm gonna close the memo now. Bye! Aerobrod does a memo close! Cool! Problem Sleuth furiously attempt to break cuffs. You are now Problem Sleuth. You've been trapped in Merit's punishment chest for a pretty long time for a really stupid reason that we'll only get to quite later on. How long has it been? Three years? That's just an educated guess, though. Anyway, you struggle to get the cuffs off, but you 
really can't figure out how to do that. Maybe you can think of... something. Problem Sleuth, no! Getting into the past is probably a bad idea for now. Why does that help? Now back to... Merit. What's he doing on the other side of the inventory? Problem Sleuth, break your chains on something. You shuffle around attempting to slam your cuffs on the loose shutter shades and poker chips inside the chest. Nothing works. At least for now. Merit, give your pal Dismith a titty droid. You've said so many already, but here's just one more. You know that he doesn't like it, but who the frick cares? Merit, stop frickin' around and leave to release the game, but leap behind your fisticuffs cause there's no possible reason you will need them. Okay, jeez, fine. You can't release the game since the Lotus Time Capsule was meant to do it, but it's soon, so you better check on it. Then you do a whole bunch of stuff like having the convo with Taz and then Ack Jack shows up. S. Ack Jack. Kill Merit for running your game expedition! Wear your seatbelt. End of Act One, Part One.